Oh, hi there. Today, we are going to talk about dropshipping and how to use AI and ChatGPT to make tons of money with dropshipping. It's actually extremely simple. So what I did in preparation for the live stream you are about to see is ask ChatGPT and other AI programs to find me the most profitable dropshipping products ever. And I had some certain specific criteria I wanted the AI to follow based on my years of doing dropshipping and marketing and making money online. So we're gonna put AI to the test, see if it can set up an entire dropshipping business and compare it with a brand new dropshipping business that I'm gonna be setting up right in front of you. I'm gonna show you exactly how to use AI to find the product, make the marketing plan, find out the profit margins, set up the website and more. It's actually extremely simple. So sit back, relax, because we're starting right now. All right, guys, welcome to the show. Today, what we're going to do is we are going to ask ChatGPT, Bard, and all these other AI tools to create a dropshipping store for us. Now, I know a lot of people struggle when it comes to dropshipping, and they wonder, what product do I sell? How am I going to make sure that this is going to make money? How do I know that this is going to work? And then what is the actual plan that I'm going to use? And if you have tried dropshipping before and you haven't gotten the results you've wanted, let me know in the comments and also um, let me know in the live chat if you're watching here live. Because today what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of chill out and talk about the real plan to make this work. Now, AI, in my opinion, has a big role to play when it comes to dropshipping. So we got a lot of stuff to cover today. Get ready. This is going to be pretty awesome. You're going to get all kinds of cool stuff. How's our volume? Everything working okay? Let me know. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna talk about how to make a $300 a day plan with drop shipping and AI. Now, before this call, I actually went through and got a domain, so we're gonna test out the domain that I got with whatever other people are doing because I went through and I'm like, okay, can I find a product that would be profitable that I believe would make $300 a day? And then what's gonna happen with AI? So what we did is we actually spent a bunch of money on AI stuff uh, to make this work in a real world way. And hopefully our other camera is going to wake up and work for us. Let me see what's going on with that one. Of course, nothing wants to work when you want it to actually work, right? All right, so hopefully that will work for us. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna talk about how this works and kind of go through the actual process. What we have here is lots of things open. I went through, I did a keyword report on Shopify. I looked at Shopify and said, okay, well, Shopify is kind of the king for drop shipping. So maybe they know something or a few things about the best product. So we're gonna be comparing this. We're gonna be comparing the reports that I got from the AI. And we're gonna take a look at what AI thinks is the best product and if it's worthwhile. We're also going to be using AI to actually create this business for us. Now, when we go through, we have Shopify, we have uh, ChatGPT where I'm asking it all kinds of stuff about products. I'm gonna show you the prompts and everything in just a minute. We're gonna walk through everything, okay? Very, very, very important. You're gonna wanna stick around for this whole thing. We're also gonna be looking at AliExpress. We're gonna be taking a look at keyword tools. We're gonna be comparing some affiliate offers. Amazon, everything, you name it, this is gonna go through and give you the whole rundown on dropshipping. Not only that, but I'm gonna show you how to make a one-page dropshipping site that will outsell any fancy pants site on the web. Guaranteed, I've been doing this for a long time, and a lot of people don't realize that this can be done so easy. Right? A lot of people overcomplicate stuff and that's why they don't make money. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go through and hopefully this will log us in and we'll show you exactly how this stuff works. Now, first of all, what I did is I went over to ChatGPT and I asked it to find me the top 100 dropshipping products. Now, ChatGPT as is, even using like number four, still didn't do the right thing. Like if we go here and we're like, hey, tell me the top 25 drop shipping products by profit margin, right? We're gonna see here that this is gonna give us all kinds of products. It's gonna give us some kind of errors and stuff like that. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get a little bit creative. And one of the best ways to do that is by using Bing. Using the Bing or Edge tool, right? The Edge browser, uh, what we can do is we can actually go through and ask it this stuff. And the Edge browser is going to give us real 
time information. So as you see here, this says according to Shopify, here are the top things to look at. And one of the things that I found interesting, it said to drop ship peppermint tea. I'm like, okay, uh, I don't know about that. I mean, drop shipping pepper, what are we gonna make like 12 cents? Maybe, we'll take a look at that, we'll see what's going on. But then it goes in and says, trash cans, uh, silicone lids, uh, kitchen strainers, food bags, pop-up toasters, and all kinds of things like this. So what we see here is ChatGPT did give us the potential high profit margin drop shipping products, wireless phone chargers, posture correctors, blue light blocking glasses, water bottles, and different things like that. Now, when it comes to drop shipping, let's hope that our other camera is working for us. When it comes to drop shipping, what we need to understand is that we have two things, all right? Is this camera setup working okay? Let me know. The two things we have is number one, we wanna look at high margin, okay? We are gonna look at some products here that have a high margin. This is number one, we wanna find the high margin. Number two is we want something that has horizontal marketing, okay? Now, let me explain what this means, and this is something where if it's new, if you've never heard this term before, let me know because I think this is super important, even though nobody else is talking about it. High margin is one that's pretty obvious. You know, if I sell a product that is $300, I wanna be able to get you know, anywhere from um, anywhere from like 75 bucks to $150 to sell that product. Case in point, when I did this on my gas powered scooters website, we were selling scooters for a roughly $370. I would buy them wholesale for 190. I'd pay the drop shipper the 190, he would ship it to the customer. I would pocket the difference. This is an example of a high margin one. Now, when you're dealing with high margin, let's say we have the scooters here, all right? We'll try to draw the scooter, put a little guy on the scooter there. So it looks like he's having fun. Apparently he has some giant arm up there, right? So we have our guy on the scooter here. Now this is something where we are limited, okay? Limited by the amount of people searching for it. So you have like, okay, gas powered scooter, fast gas powered scooter, maybe you could branch out into electric scooter, whatever it is, okay? Now, when we're talking about horizontal marketing, we have a whole different playground here because what happens is now we can do stuff that's like $5 per sale, $10 per sale, or whatever it is, and the goal is to be able to sell a lot of them. Now, when we're doing horizontal marketing, it's a little bit different than the high margin, although you can find high margin stuff in this, which we'll talk about in a little bit, but the horizontal marketing, what is going to happen is we're gonna have something that's gonna go this way, right? So gas powered scooter, we have gas powered scooter here, and then cheap gas powered scooter, 50 cc, 100 cc, gas powered scooter for roads, dirt, whatever, okay? That's what we call vertical vertical keywords, okay? They're all related to the one thing. Now, when we go for horizontal marketing, what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask ourselves the question, who else wants this? Wants, okay? And this is something we're gonna let AI and ChatGPT do, which is gonna do like a champ. Now, had I only gone for high profit margin stuff, I would have missed out on millions of dollars worth of profit to my company over the years. Now, we need to understand these two things. If you get it, let me know, smash the like button, let me know in the box. This is very, very important. We're trying out a new camera and the new camera decided not to work right as I went live. So I gotta remember which one I'm looking at here. But we're gonna take a look here and we're gonna see exactly what's going on because some of these products you're gonna see Wireless phone charger, there's not a whole lot else I can do with that. I, I sell a wireless phone charger and hopefully people buy it and that's pretty much the end of it, okay? Now, posture corrector, I might be able to go to like back pain or slouching or whatever. Blue light, again, same kind of thing, magnetic. So a lot of these, what we're seeing is that it's very surface level, it's very on one level, right? Pet grooming gloves, beard grooming, snoring. It's all something that basically has one use and the use is in the keyword. Now, what I did is I went through and I said, okay, well, what else do we have? And, and all the lists were pretty much the same, earphones, phone cases, laptops, 
water bottles, LED lights, and different things like that. Now, what is happening here is AI is missing the point on things that can make us a ton of money. Case in point, one of the things I'm looking at is going to be um, kitchen stuff, right? We saw kitchen stuff here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna isolate it and say, okay, well, wait a minute. Let's go into this a little bit deeper, right? So we went in and it said, find the popular stuff for drop shipping, and we found kitchen supplies, okay? So let's, let's go through and let's open up a new chat and let's say, tell me the best kitchen type kitchen use drop shipping products and how much they cost. Okay, this should do pretty good. If not, we'll use uh, Bing because Bing will do good. It, it will give us some of them. Okay, so here we have a lot of mumbo jumbo. We'll wait for this to uh, load here. Okay, so we have uh, silicone food bags, multifunction cutters and slices. Okay, cool. So I like the idea of cutters, slices, and things like that because not only are you gonna sell it as a cutter, a chopper, a slicer, or a knife, but you're also going to be able to sell it to people looking for the result, like how to cut a tomato, how to cut an onion, how to cut a bagel. All kinds of stuff like this is going to be very good, or maybe even a colander. We can go through and find out different uses for it. And if you can understand how the different uses work, this is key. Understanding the different uses of a product is the key to making this work. Now, what we're gonna do is once we find this, we can go through and say something like, maybe we're gonna go for a measuring spoon or maybe even a kitchen scale, vegetable cutter. So we could go through and say, tell me 25 different uses for a vegetable cutter. Okay, this is where the rubber is going to meet the road because now we can market this in a different way. Now we see that ChatGPT is going to work right here. There it is going to work, right? It went to work and we can see exactly what this is, what this is doing. Okay, now this is super important because we want to find the marketing angle. Remember above where I said we were going for, you know, different things about scooters all right again you're limited by what this can do okay as i, I market it under scooters i go here i go to uh, my favorite keyword tool keyword planner and i type in gas scooter okay scooter and you are going to see that gas scooter actually shows up it's got what i call the taper effect okay the taper effect is where this is going to get the keywords and you can see 5,400, 5,200, and then boom, it drops down drastically. This is the taper effect, which is going to take most marketers and put them out of the running for this traffic because there's only one shot. If you don't get that keyword, if you can't get the traffic cheap enough, if it's too competitive, boom, gone, you are out of business. Not gonna be able to compete. How many guys feel this way? You're like, hey, wait a minute. This is, this is why, this is exactly what I've done and that's why I'm not getting where I need to be. This is why I'm not getting results because every other drop shipper says, just pick the right product, put it up, and it's gonna sell like crazy and retire on the beach. But you try that and it doesn't work. Now, using ChatGPT, we could go through and see if there's horizontal ones. I'm gonna do this in another uh, chat, in another window because I don't know what ChatGPT is gonna tell me and it might be stuff that you know, might not be good for the webinar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say list 25 different uses for a gas powered scooter. Okay, so let's see what comes up here. Okay, so this is giving us some stuff, but again, it's a stretch, right? Like you could do vending, mobile entertainment, like how are you gonna be a DJ on a scooter? Landscaping, golf course. A lot of this stuff is, is like, okay, I can see where it went with some of these, but for the most part, it's not giving me anything useful that I can actually turn a profit with. Smash the like button if you're getting this and you understand exactly uh, how this is working. Okay, very, very important. We can't really use this very much. Could you make a scooter 
blog or videos about commuting and running errands? Maybe, but again, it's not going to do the sales that this other one is going to do, right? Looking at this, now I have a list of things I can do. So we want to take a look at this. And again, we want to look at our profit margins, okay? So let's go over here. Let's talk about these profit margins because this is something people don't talk about. They say, oh, I'm going to do drop shipping, which is fine, but they don't talk about like, hey, how do these margins work? Because if I'm going to do a gas scooter, okay, maybe my profit margin is anywhere from 100 to $200, okay? Pretty cool, but again, as we saw, Competition's pretty crazy. If I'm doing something like a vegetable chopper, okay, maybe my profit margin is, I don't know, let's say $4, okay? Great, if I wanna get to $400 a day, I need to sell 100 of them. Am I gonna do that by getting in the mix with everyone else and just trying to sell this thing on Amazon or Google ads or Facebook ads? Maybe it's going to be a stretch because if you only have four dollars, all right, if you're doing Facebook ads, okay, you need to get them pretty cheap to be able to sell that. If we go a different route, which I'm going to talk to you about in just a minute with ChatGPT and AI, then I think we can do this in a better way. Because when we're looking at the profit margin as a business person, here's something important as a business person. A lot of people say, well, you know, Marcus, I want to do drop shipping because that's what the gurus say works well. Okay, let me tell you right now, stop listening to the gurus. Listen to the profit margin, okay? Listen to the profit margin because we might not need to use drop shipping. We're going to figure that out. Very important. Let's figure it out right now. So when we go through... We need to look at this and say, here's all these different things we can do. So we could go to AliExpress or Alibaba. Now, again, this is a little bit different because when we're dealing with AliExpress, you're actually drop shipping from like China and it takes forever to get here, which is a pain. When I was doing the gas powered scooters, the guy was in Vegas, he shipped them, okay? I'm gonna show you this in just a minute with the example here, okay? This is very, very important, this example, okay? Now, when we look at this, let's do vegetable, or let's just do chopper, okay? Vegetable chopper, okay? We're gonna look here, okay, that's not a vegetable. There, there's vegetable kitchen, kitchen chopper, there we go. Um, so kitchen chopper, we can see here $2. You got this one that's $3, some kind of carrot shovel, whatever that is, right? And we see all different kinds of things. Now, we can go to Amazon, and we can look at the difference between the two. So if I do something on Amazon and I say uh, kitchen chopper, okay, we're gonna go through and look at what these cost. So we got kitchen chopper, $40 for that one. That's a pretty hefty one. $19, here's some kind of potato chopper, $34. So the margin looks okay. Let's do a vegetable chopper here vegetable chopper okay uh vince says i've drop shipped for over 20 years but unless you have an established set of customers and vendors i would be precise in starting one today exactly that's what we're talking about so vince here is like hey check this out this guy knows what he's talking about we need something very specific you have to do specific i would rather sell one product extremely well than try to sell a bunch of stuff and like kind of not do a good job at it. So we're gonna pick something very, very specific here and we're gonna use it. So we have the choppers here. This one's $10, pretty cool. So $10 for this chopper over here, it looks like on Amazon, it was, I think $40, where'd it go? Yeah, 40 bucks, that's a little high. There were some that were cheaper. And then again, let's see how many they actually sell. Now again, seeing here, this is a sponsored result, which means he's paying for ads. That's probably why he's charging more than this guy because he needs to make up for the ads. However, this one here sold, uh, he's got 26,000 reviews, so it looks like it's doing pretty okay, okay? So let's go through and see what the sales look like on these kind of things, because it's very important to look at. And what we're going to do is we are going to market in a different way, and it's actually extremely 
simple when we go through, okay? And again, you need to understand the simplicity of what we're doing. A lot of people try to overcomplicate this. So what we're seeing here that according to Jungle Scout, this is making about 25,000 sales a month and it's generating an average of three quarters of a million dollars a month in sales, just this one on, 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 um, on Amazon, okay? Amazon alone. So pretty cool. We got this looking really good, okay? Now what we need to do is let's try Mueller Pro, or we could even try like Kitchen Chopper, right like this, and see what comes up. And you're gonna see all kinds of different things that come up, all different kinds of things that are making lots of money. We can organize them by monthly sales and see what's going on. Now again, this is the product research phase. Notice how we're gonna use ChatGPT and AI to do this for us, right? We're like, hey, find us the thing. That's what it found. Now we see there's lots of money. Now, again, if you were to go to Google and you were to type in something like kitchen chopper, kitchen vegetable chopper, okay? You're gonna see that there's lots and lots of ads. Amazon ads, Amazon ads, more ads. You're not gonna rank on the homepage because it's all these products and Walmart and other people. So the chances of you actually making money with this are gonna be very, very slim. How many of you guys have tried this and you're like, yeah, drop shipping doesn't exactly work the way that other people say it does. And that's because you're looking at it the wrong way. That's the difference between vertical marketing and horizontal marketing, okay? Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take our product and we're gonna say, what are the 25 different uses for a vegetable cutter? So let's, let's backtrack and talk about what we went over. We said, chat GPT, find us the best drop shipping products with the best margin. It said kitchen stuff. We isolate it and said, well, what is the best kitchen drop shipping product? He said, or she, or whoever chat GPT is, said, um, here are the top things and one of them was the vegetable chopper. Excellent, great, perfect. Now, just a pat says our store has 20 items, but we're focused on the community niche. Cool, all right, we'll take a look at that in just a minute. But again, we have to look at this and focus. We need to focus, all right? So what we're gonna do here is we say, okay, now we have all these different uses. Excellent. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the margin, see what's out there. So our margin, Let's say we sell this for $29. We're getting it over here for $10. I don't know, we might have to get like a thousand of them. Let's see. Okay, so we can get 900 of them, $4 off. Okay, so it looks like you can just buy a couple of them, which is cool. That's important. So our margin would be $19. I would probably do free shipping. So our margin would drop, let's say it costs $7 to ship. So our margin would be about $12. Now, again, this is actually wholesaling, not drop shipping. In order to find a drop shipper, different kind of thing. So we gotta look at that and understand, does the margin work for drop shipping? Well, maybe there's a better way to go about it. Maybe we could do something like chopper over an offer vault and see different kitchen choppers. This one, all I gotta do is get them to buy it, I get $6, I don't gotta ship them, I don't gotta do anything. Or we can do something like knife for a kitchen knife. And it's got um, a knife sharpener or some kind of butter thing or whatever it is. And so we start to understand, okay, this is about money, not so much just about drop shipping because I heard that drop shipping is good. Very important. So number one, what we're gonna do, and again, if you want notes of this, download my notes.com. Number one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the right product. Now, I think ChatGPT and AI did a pretty good job of figuring out that kitchen choppers would work. We did a little bit of legwork and said, okay, that's a really horizontal one. We can get a lot of traffic, not just Google and ad traffic. We can do this in a simple way. Then we used it to find the margins and what is called the traffic barrier. Now, the traffic barrier is something extremely important, okay? The traffic barrier is what is it going to take to get you traffic? This is important because a lot of people think, oh, I'll just go buy Facebook ads. Okay, well, Facebook ads are 40 cents a click, all right? How many, you can only get 10 clicks, you gotta make a sale. 
that's going to be very difficult. Or if you're doing gas scooters and traffic is $3 a click, you got to sell one out of every 50 people or uh, even more than that, right? You got to sell one out of every 30 here, all right, in order to make it work. So it's going to be very difficult because not a lot of those people are actually ready to buy right now. And this is the struggle that a lot of people have with drop shipping. So what we have here is the traffic barrier of how difficult and how hard is it to get in front of people. Now, when we look at this, we're going to say, okay, gas scooter, that's a pretty easy one. However, if I wanted to get traffic free, I would probably do YouTube, uh, maybe even some Pinterest or something like that. I'm gonna do social media for it because it's easy. You can get a lot of traffic that way. Now, if we're doing something like the vegetable chopper, this is something that's really cool. Again, we can use AI to create this entire thing. So what we can do here is we could say, well, vegetable chopper, yeah, I can get some SEO traffic, which is like if I set up a blog or something, and I can get free traffic in a really easy way. Right, I just like, hey, here's how to chop an onion, here's how to do this. We can also go through and do social media and video marketing and sell this thing like crazy, all right? There's something that marketers talk about which is known as the TikTok effect. The TikTok effect is when a product goes viral strictly because of TikTok. Like last year when that pickle lady came out and sold pickles from her basement or whatever she was doing, pickles went up like crazy. People were going, oh, I need to buy these pickles. I need to do this stuff. And she sold hundreds of thousands of dollars worth just using TikTok. Now, disclaimer, she didn't do it right. She didn't have a full kitchen. I wouldn't recommend selling food because, yeah, just don't. We don't want to ship food through the mail. Leave that to Amazon. But if we were to do something like this, you could go out there and be known as the uh, chopper guy. Case in point, the guy who sprinkles salt on everything, right? If he came out with a set of steak knives, it would be an instant bestseller. Why? TikTok, social media, horizontal marketing. He went to people that weren't necessarily looking for how to cut a steak or looking for new knives, and he was able to sell it in a different way using his influence. This is something we call influencer marketing, but don't worry. You don't need to go out there and sprinkle salt on steaks or sell pickles from your backyard or whatever it is. What we're gonna do is use AI to make this whole process seamless in a really easy way without using your face, without people knowing who you are on social media and making this work in a simple way. Let me show you how it works. Okay, so over here what we're doing is we have our horizontal versus vertical plan. Now, when I asked ChatGPT to find 25 different uses for a vegetable cutter, I did that on purpose, okay? I did that because I want it to give me content ideas, okay? Very important. Now what I can do is I can actually go to a program like Content at Scale, AI Writer, or any other AI program, or even ChatGPT, if you don't mind doing a little, um, leg work, right, a little bit of editing, I could go through and say, what is the best way to cut an onion, right? And this is going to go through and make content about the best way to cut an onion. Now, I could go through, I could have an AI program actually create a video around this topic, or I could get my phone or a video camera and I can follow these steps, do a little voiceover, and show how it works. Obviously, be careful when doing this. If you don't know how to do, use kitchen tools, don't even try this, pick a different niche. But you get the idea of how this works because now I have a whole bunch of different things like that, right? How to cut, best way to cut vegetables for stir fry, right? Very important because what's gonna happen is you're, you have these people already thinking about, oh, hey, I'm gonna make this stir fry. Oh, hey, I'm gonna do this. And what's happening is their, their mind is thinking about using kitchen stuff. And so if you get them on something that's interesting and something that they can use that will help them, bada bang, you're ready to go. Case in point, um, I was watching something on TikTok, I believe it was a couple years ago. And uh, out in my backyard, I love to cook. We have a big flat top like hibachi grill. And I wanted one for inside that, that plugged in. And I didn't know they existed. Some guy on TikTok was showing how to cook stuff on it. 
and I used it in a very, very simple way, right? And, and I actually bought the product because it was like, okay, there it is, $300 product, easy, no brainer. I bought it because I was looking at this stuff and I was already in the mindset of cooking, right? And as you see, this is not something that's difficult to do. It's not something that people aren't buying. They are buying to the tune of, I think it was like 25,000 of these a month or something, 17,000 a month. Um, here's another one. Here's some meat chopper, right? This looks like a tenderizer, meat tenderizer, 27,000, right? And, and here you go, right? You want to sell this. Most people are going to go out there and try to sell this as, oh, here's the meat tenderizer. Okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do why steak tough. Here's people who don't know how to cook a steak. Why is my steak tough? Why is cube steak? Okay, and we're going to show them, hey, get this meat tenderizer and your steak won't be tough. Or you can even do like New York strip. A lot of people mess up New York strip and make it really tough. And you can see that people are looking this up. Or you can do tender steak how to cook tender steak. And all these people are looking at that, how to make steak tender, right? That's something where you can make an AI video, you can make an AI image. Let's say you put an image on, on Pinterest. Here's three steps to making this work. Very simple. And what people don't realize is the fact that if you do this right, it will sell like crazy. And, and when we do this, all you literally need is a one page website with a PayPal button. Now, I'm going to go through and I'm going to do this in a different way. Let me show you what I would do because I like to build mailing lists and make lots of money. So let me open up this whiteboard tool over here. Where did it go? There we go. Microsoft Whiteboard is our friend. So we're going to go through and we're going to utilize this here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a one page thing. Okay, so this is what it'll look like. Let's see if we can get this here. Where's our pen? For some reason, our pen doesn't want to work. All right, we'll have to do that on the other board, apparently. So, got to love tech days when nothing works. All right, so we'll do this over here. But what I'm going to do here is very simple. So, we can actually have a one-page website with a Buy Now button, okay? I would highly recommend, if you're going to do drop shipping, focus on one product, do it really good. Let me show you why. If I go out there and I create all this good stuff, I have AI create content around how to chop an onion, how to chop this, why is my steak not tender, why is this, best way to cut french fries, best way to cut that, all this stuff, okay, driving at this page. Okay, not everyone's going to buy, but we will get sales. It's, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Now, I can have a buy now button. I'll put a picture of the chopper thing. Okay, here's the chopper. That's what the chopper looks like, apparently. Okay, and it says, hey, get your chopper here. Very, very cool. Okay, instead, what I would do, I, I could either have the button here. It goes to PayPal. I ship it out. Boom, easy stuff. Drop shipping 101. Super easy. But a lot of people don't talk about this because overcomplicating this makes you spend $5,000 on a course. I'd rather just teach you the good stuff. If you want to buy something from me, buy my time in taking time with you. All right. Um, but you can learn this stuff free right here on my videos. So we have the chopper thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, get $5 off. Okay. And I'll say in order to get $5 off, put your name and email and then click the button. What that's going to do, it's going to build a mailing list of people that I know are interested in the chopper. And let's say one out of 10 buys the product. I still have nine other people on the mailing list that I can write back and sell other kitchen items to. This is what we call building a business, building something based on simple little videos that AI can create, script, and actually tell you what to make. Then you go out there and put it together. This is something we're doing right now on Pinterest, actually for LOL biz. Uh, we're doing this on Pinterest where we're just showing pictures of products that you can drop ship, driving people to something, and it's actually taken off like crazy. I think we're at like 5,000 views or something like that. Um, and it's my outsourcer is doing it. It's not something I'm actually doing, which is cool because you can have AI do it. You can have outsourcers do it. It's very, very simple. So what we're going to do 
is we're gonna focus. Now, I promised that I was gonna tell you a product that I'm gonna do just to show you some contrasting of exactly what's going on. So, when we look at this, we found AI and we're like, okay, this can work. And it will work for lots and lots of different things. Okay, let's get this sorted. There we go. Okay, so this will work for lots of different things. As you can see, we just focus, we go down the line. Now, again, this is kind of boring because it's like, okay, yeah, my job is literally to just have AI create content about how to make standard, uh, steak tender. And I could do, okay, what are 10 ways to make steak tender? Boom, it's gonna go through and it's gonna make it work in a very, very simple way. Now, Alex says, how many percent visitors come from your keyword search? How many will really buy? Well, depending on your traffic method, I've seen that a site that does mediocre can get about 1% of the people to buy. A site that's using social media, obviously that's a much more valued click. Sometimes you can get as high as 10%. Some people have gotten even more on products that are super cheap like this. And here's a, here's a hint. A lot of people don't realize the power of Amazon. Now, when you're looking at Amazon, if I was to send you to my website to buy a kitchen chopper, the conversion rate will probably be three to 10%. If I send you to Amazon, it's gonna be way higher because you don't even need your credit card. You just click the button and everybody trusts Amazon. So you could actually bypass the website stuff or just make the get five dollars off click here to buy now then send them to amazon that's a way to get more conversions as well it's actually not that difficult to do and what you're going to find out is that a lot of people are going to have excuses of why they think it'll not work i'm going to find the reason it does work because you can have a million excuses of why you think it won't all i need is one reason why it will and this is something that I've been doing for many, many years. And again, the idea is to get that mailing list and build and grow and build and grow. Because if I have 10,000 people on the mailing list that maybe didn't buy the product and 1,000 who did, now I can sell them all kinds of other stuff. And that's where the rubber meets the road. Very simple. So now we can see here that G uh, ChatGPT told us different ways to make the steak tender. And we can actually see if we were to go to like YouTube or whatever and make it work, we can do this in a simple way. Now, in order to do this, if we wanna set up a business, we would need like a little logo and a website and everything like that, which again, ladies and gentlemen, you can use AI for that. This is stuff that we used to do by hand up until like three months ago when AI literally took over the entire world. But we can go through and use a program like uh, Logo and say, okay, well, let's call it um, Marcus's, actually, I don't like using Marcus's because the S is weird, but let's call it like Bob's Kitchen Chopper. Okay, Bob's Kitchen Chopper or whatever it is, the best kitchen chopper. Enter your slogan, um, chop veggies easy or something like that, right? And you go through and this will actually go through, let's do kitchen, kitchen supply. And then you pick your, um, your color, let's use green, pick your font and this will actually go through and it'll create you a bunch of uh, different logos. Let's hope that it, it I'll, I'll do it off here because sometimes like it'll get weird stuff. You never know what the AI is gonna tell you, but it looks like it did pretty good and it created some nice little logos here. Kitchen Chopper, I actually like this one or even this one, this one's pretty cool. It's got like the guy uh, cooking. I, I actually like this one, right? And this program, I think it's logo.com allows you to make tons of these and you can edit them and whatever you want. So you make a little logo, you put it with WordPress the way that I teach in the videos in the description and you're ready to go. And you can even ask ChatGPT to create you a PayPal button or a Amazon link or whatever it is. And what'll happen is you're using this and you're stacking AI on top of each other to get a desired outcome that's gonna sell the product. But notice how what we're doing is we're focusing on one specific product. We're focusing on one direction, focusing on getting, okay, AI, what do we do now, right? And what's gonna happen is AI is going to do this. You could even do like, give me 25 steak cooking tips, 
right? And this will give you steak cooking tips. And then we can go over uh, to YouTube and see what the traffic is like. And you will see there is tons of stuff. Let's say we do uh, tender steak. Okay, and here we have 3 million tenderizing steaks, 270,000, 500,000. So there's lots and lots of stuff about how to tenderize a steak. And a lot of it, they don't even have their face. Right? They just have their hands. So like, you know, you can go get a manicure or whatever and have fancy hands and go make these things in a very, very simple way. And a lot of these do not require you to be in the video. And also doesn't even require you to make the video. You could do this with AI. Um, I actually found one where there's like a cat that cooks, right? And they're like, okay, here's a cat cooking. It's like done some kind of like a puppet or something like that. I don't know how they do it, but it's very simple, right? And when you look at this and you focus, because a lot of people are going to spend 90% of their time trying to set up the shop. They're like, okay, I found the product and it's great, but they didn't look at data. Then they set up the shop and then they wonder why it fails because they spent 90% of the time on the aesthetics of the shop. That's why I hate making videos about how to set up an, a, a, a drop shipping store. I hate those because that's not the important part. You can get someone on Fiverr for $5 to set you up a store. You can have AI set you up a store. That's not what's important. What's important is the marketing plan behind it. And I know a lot of people, they, they say, Marcus, your sites are, are unattractive. They look old and ugly. And I'm like, yeah, but they outperform pretty websites. Like I've tested fancy Shopify with my one page WordPress or one page HTML, right? And, and mine out pulls it 10 to one because it's simple, right? You look at Amazon, it's not a complicated site. You look at Google, it's not a complicated site. All people need is here's why you need the product. This is the old, um, I think it was John Carlton's copywriting secrets, right? He said, um, here's, here's the formula is here's what I got. Here's what it's going to do for you. Here's where to get it, right? So if your Shopify store does not answer those questions in a split second, you are going to lose money. This is why people fail. They don't get it. They're focusing on the wrong thing. Shopify is nothing more than a glorified website maker. Yet people think it's like the magic secret to drop shipping. It's not, it's not. You can have a link, a PayPal button, something simple. If you answer that question, right? So here's all these people watching videos about why their steak is too tough. And we go through and we're like, okay, so you're making tough steak. I made it for years. When I, I let you in on a little Marcusism. When I was a kid, um, I hated steak. I, I detested it because it hurt my teeth and I couldn't chew it. And we always had this joke with my dad, even up until uh, his passing, we would still joke about it. And I was like, he'd say, why don't you like steak? And I'm like, cause I can't chew it. And then later I figured out it was the way they were cooking it, not that steak was tough to chew. And I learned how to cook a steak and he was like, okay, you can cook the steaks from now on. Um, and we would make this stuff and it was, it was always tough. But then when I cooked it, I learned how to do it the right way after years of practicing and learning and things like that. And that was something that was important. And that was something that was a problem I wanted solved because I like steak. It was pretty good, right? And now we can go through and a lot of people have that same problem. And what you're going to do is you're going to solve the problem, right? Whether it's here's how to cut onions without crying or here's how to do this or whatever, okay? Now rank 24 says, could you use eBay or is that over? Is eBay over? Like, no, eBay is a gigantic site that makes billions of dollars. This is one of the things in marketing that people struggle with. They think that because gurus ta stop talking about things, that it's over. Like I, I watched a video the other day by this guy who's like, I've made $500 million. And he's like, drop shipping's dead. And I'm like, you're, you might've made 500 bucks, but you're wrong. Drop shipping is not dead. Drop shipping is a way of selling. Like I think Amazon does drop shipping, eBay does, there's billions of dollars in drop shipping. So to say that something's gone because gurus stop talking about it is silly. Also on the flip side, when we're talking about AI, right? People are, oh, AI is the biggest and greatest secret. No, it's not. 
if you don't know how to use it properly, it's going to be the biggest waste of time you've ever seen. Case in point, you are going to waste so much time if you don't know how to focus. And if you didn't make money drop shipping, what makes you think AI is just going to snap its fingers and make you money? It's not. Unless you learn exactly how to do it. And if you can't make a one page website with a buy now button and get sales, forget about everything else. Because if you can't do that, you're not going to make this work. Plain and simple. And that's the problem is, is people are not focusing on the direct plan. Doing this plan, I know I can get sales. And one of the things that I'm doing as a comparison, I actually went through and I found this niche, which was interesting. I'll show you this niche. It's called the 360 photo booth. It's like this weird photo booth thing and it gets all this traffic. I was like, wait a minute, this is crazy. It's like this thing you stand on and it spins around and all kinds of stuff like that. So you got 360 photo booth. And I was looking at this and I'm like, okay, this would fit a good drop shipping type product because we go through and we look at 360 photo booth. And you're gonna see all kinds of different little spinners here, right? And they retail for like $3,000, which means the margin is off the hook. And this is the kind of thing where yes, you could market this on social media. Yes, you could go through and do this. There's people all the time doing this kind of thing and the margins are so big, it works like crazy. Now this is one where I actually went through and I found an actual drop shipper, right? Not AliExpress because AliExpress more or less takes a while to get and it's kind of risky. This is something that works in a real world way. It's like, okay, this guy's in the US. He's gonna ship to the US. All I do is pay him and it's done, uh, done deal. Top Banana says, what costs are involved in drop shipping? Um, the costs are pretty small, like web hosting. If you don't wanna do web hosting, you could do a PayPal link. Uh, when I first started, I already had a website server, so I just put up a, a, a scooter website and um, it cost me nothing. I think it cost me $10 to buy the domain name and I used PayPal, which was free, and then there we go, right? The problem is, is people are getting all these tools thinking that the tools are what makes people money and it's not. That's not what makes people money. It might help you, right? Like, okay, if you have Shopify, it might have some tool that'll help you. But at the end of the day, if you can't get sales, it don't matter. It's like the old adage of, if I can write a letter, a little piece of paper, and sell something, I should be able to do it, right? If I go and I'm like, hey, you know, I write a letter like this. I go to a guy, find some guy with a cracked windshield. Hey, I have a windshield repair, it's $300, boom. Would he call me? Probably. If you can't get him to call you on a, she a sheet of paper, what makes you think your fancy drop shipping site is gonna sell something if you don't focus on the right traffic? And that's the key is like, I can sell in an easy way and setting up shop is super easy. I have some links in the description. We're gonna go through, get the plan. You can have ChatGPT make you a page, right? You could say, hey, uh, make me a simple HTML page selling a gas scooter, or you could do kitchen chopper, chopper with a PayPal link that sells the chopper for $5 plus $2.95 shipping. Email address chopper at chopper.com or whatever, right? And it'll go through and it'll actually code the page for you. There it is right there. You can add an image. It, it's super simple. And when you understand that we need simplicity, we need to focus on one product. We need to focus on marketing the heck out of that one product using social media, whatever it is. And you can see here, it coded it. I could literally put this on my site and be in business today. All I need is a PayPal account, which most people have, right? And don't get distracted. One of the things you'll know about me is in business, I don't get distracted. I stay focused. And I do one thing over and over and over again because I know it's going to work. And if I do this over and over and over again, all I need to do is send people to that link. So my goal is how many people do I send to the link for the kitchen chopper or the 360 thing or whatever it is? How many people can I get to this link? Can I use AI to help me with that? Can I say, 
you know, um, write me, write me a marketing plan for, and let's do online marketing plan, online marketing plan for a 360 photo booth that sells for, let's say, $2,000, okay? It's gonna go through, it'll get me a plan. Then what we need to do is we need to learn how to stack and say, okay, what are we gonna do, right? Because this gives us generic stuff, but now we can do something like, what are ways people, or let's do, where are the top places someone would want a 360 photo booth? Okay, this is something that can work well, because then you'll be like, oh, weddings. Okay, cool, now I can sell this to people um, looking at a wedding or a corporate event or parties or whatever it is. Now what's happening is I'm using AI to market horizontally, and that's the key. If we understand how this works in a real world way, and then we just basically paint by numbers, color in the lines, make this work, super simple. And again, all I'm gonna do is sell one of these. Let's just focus on it and make it the right way, right? Maybe I'll have, maybe I'll have two. Cheap version, expensive version, that's it, right? When I did gas-powered scooters, there's three, blue, black, and, and red, that's it. And then I had like an electric one that didn't sell, so I eventually took it off there. But that's the reason it worked, because it was so simple. It was so simple and so easy. And another tip, which is kind of a pain in the neck, but if you want to make lots of sales for a high-ticket item, put a phone number on your site answer the phone, you'll get sales. Like how many times a day would you answer the phone if someone was gonna buy a product that paid you a thousand bucks? Like how many of you guys would do that? Would you answer the phone if, if you knew you could get a thousand dollars? And I'll answer the phone a couple times. Hey, you know, what are you gonna do? Um, very simple, and that's all you need. Logo, website, set up payments, get your traffic, start get traffic, start getting sales. And when you use this, you have to understand that there are so many products out there you can do this with. And what you're doing is you are deliberately making content horizontally based on different uses of a product. That is going to get you a ton of traffic. That is going to make you a bunch of money, hopefully. Results not typical implied or guaranteed. The average person trying to make money makes nothing, but you get the idea. And if you wanna learn more about how I do this every single day, check out the links in the description uh, or join Blog Profit Network at blogprofitnetwork.com. Smash the like button. Check out downloadmynotes.com for notes from this training and I'll see you in Friday's video.